In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we explore Pipe Creek. From amazing sandbars, to shallow shallows, and deep cuts. Beautiful coral gardens, and some interesting sea life. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. Our first stop in Pipe Creek was this little sandbar that's exposed at low tide. The watercolor shows the depth. On the way in, we noticed coral and plant life at different depths. We couldn't wait to check it out. Luckily, we brought our fins and masks along. Coral with hair? I need a closer look. And the face! Coral is scattered all along the sandbar. Skimming through the shallows reveals what's hiding just below the surface. There's far more than just sand. Downside of shallows? How do I, uh, how do I, um, how do I get through here? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, let me scratch myself up a little bit. Ouch! I thought I'd be human, find a solution, my evolution. A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this. You can go pick the battle of the good, got a glass half way, I know. It's even gonna hide in just a little long. Not everyone in life has got a halo. Standing in the ready spot to play phone. It's gonna break down. I still find it challenging to dive deeper. I have to work on my breath control and I'm very positive buoyant, so it's hard to stay down. What are some good weights to invest in? I love the way the currents push the sand into big piles and the coral grows at the bottom in between.
need to learn how to equalize like Dave does here. Then I can dive deeper. Tide was too low over at Reacher's Bubble Bath, so we came back over to Pipe Creek, and uh, it's a little higher than the last time we were here. We're in a whole different spot, but these sandbars are all through, with resorts everywhere. The best and the worst part of all of this is we know the camera is not catching it cameras that is <laughs> if we had the DSLR and the most expensive lens you could possibly buy you can't capture this with a camera it requires the mark one eyeball you got to bring your eyeballs down here you got to see it for yourself footy prints <gasps> ruins it <laughs> dare people walk on our pristine sand. What were they doing here? <laughs> Things that make you go, hey, that looks like a good idea. So are we far enough down the sandbar? Yes. yes. See, we're almost there, and that's where Lisa likes to stop. Almost there is good. Almost there, almost there. All the Wait. way there? No. Wait for it. It's soft on the, on the edge. The sides move. Cool. How clear is this water? Can you see this? Guys, can you see this? What? What? Look at this. I want to dive on that. We gotta come back and dive on that. I see fish. So that's about 20 feet of water, and it looks like it's about five feet deep. Yeah. So how do you how do you snorkel that when it's that currenting? Carefully. All right, Elise. What do you say we dive this? That sounds like a great idea. All right. It looks really interesting. Nope, Over there right. was our anchorage. Over there is Compass Key Marina. Here are some people curious as to whether or not we're dead. <laughs> not dead yet. And this is all shallows here. I don't know if we can get over this little ridge to swim in there, but all the way around the outside of this where there's some pretty heavy current, that's all rock and coral. That should be pretty cool. So we're gonna do that. All right, we switched cameras. We're ready to go swimming. 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 <laughs> My dose is plugged. in my way. Okay. Buddy needs to step off. Like maybe I can scare them away. Probably a bad idea. Three big ass barracudas out there. They should be over guarding our fucking boat. I don't know what they're doing here.
deeper we get into the cut, the stronger the current gets. Exhilarating, but exhausting. You can see the current pushing over the fan coral. Gonna be some rip, yeah. It's gonna be some current. What do you what do you think? No, yes. I don't know. Let's go over there and see. If it starts to get too strong, we'll turn around and come back. Okay. I think it should be fine, it's shallow. Okay. We should be able to just stop, you know? Okay. Famous last words. <laughs>
going back to school floating with the fishes. Pipe Creek is full of amazing places to dive. You just got to be careful you're not in a channel. There's a million shallows. There's so much coral. It's amazing. So we've gone to a different spot and there's a channel down both sides of us, but we're gonna dive off this little island chain right down the center. And right off the point behind me, there was some uh, shallow coral. coral with some potential, I think. Oh yeah. So Lisa's gonna dive with her shades on because her future is so bright. <laughs> All right, Lisa's gonna take off her shades and her top and we're gonna dive. What? No. The top shades? No, my shades. <sighs> Tough to find good help.
What's up with this coral patch? It looks like a pile of sticks. What kind of coral is this? I love parrotfish. Tried to join their school, but they're so clicky. I didn't give them much of a choice. They eventually had to accept me. Guys, guys, stop school. A little turtle lures Lisa into the channel. I think he was setting me up to get run over by a boat. Our assigned barracuda is enjoying the sunset with us. To an amazing day, to get it done, or getting things done, <laughs> to amazing snorkeling today, finding the best spot. Go to Pipe Creek. <sighs> wow. Compass Key. To Jolie's new apartment. To Jolie's new apartment. Ooh. Nice. And we are really, really sunburnt. I don't know if this is coming up or if you see, you know, like how we talk about seeing all the colors. Well, both of us are really, really burnt today because we had a really good time snorkeling. So, there's that. Sun's going down. Sun's getting mighty low. <laughs> <laughs> 